Hello, this is Sean West, and today we're going to try to tie um, a Dauber diver. I'm going to be doing this in in three different videos because if I try to do it all at once, it's going to take me well over an hour, and um, I won't be able to upload it onto uh, onto YouTube. So let's start off with our hook here, which is a Tiemco 8089 in a size 10. Um, our weed guard is going to be um, a hard mason and 16 pound test, but it's about all I use for my weed guards. Um, for tying on the weed guard, we're going to be using um, a flat wax nylon. And I almost always use the white or the clear. <clears throat> so let's get started. So we're going to start our thread right at the hook point and we're going to go on down our hook shank. I'd say about oh, halfway down the bend should work fine. And then we're going to spiral wrap it back up to the top. We'll trim off our tag end. Now then. We'll take about a, a three inch piece of our hard mason here. And we'll wrap her on. We're going to go all, all the way down to where um, we ended our, our thread wraps. Now what I'm going to do is spin this counterclockwise so that it'll go on a little flatter is we don't need all this bulk. And then we'll finish this off because we're going to be done with the single strand floss. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decode it with some Sally Hansen's hard as nails. This one it happens to be the instant dry. You don't have to do this, but I find when I trim my hair book, sometimes I snip this um, the, the the weed guard thread, and then uh, I don't have a weed guard. Now I, I know that there are folks who think that a weed guard is is actually a fish guard. In, in this case, it's not. A, a, I, I've caught little eight-inch bass that 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 are able to bend this with no problem whatsoever. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, um, for a tail on this one, I like to have my tail on my Dober divers be at least two to three times. The, the, the hook length. Um, for this fly, I'm going to be using Arctic Foxtail along with a hackle and uh, three strands of Flashaboo. So, let me get started on that because it should be dry enough, I hope, by now. It does say instant, right? Now then, with this stuff, it it's a lot like um, Squirrel Tail. It has a habit of wanting to slip out. So what I do is I'll take some uh, some head well actually let me back up I gotta have some some thread on this is just a a six out white uni thread I'm gonna start that right on top of, of, of the weed guard and I'll go back to about the hook barb now Head back to do, do what I was going to say. I'm going to use my fly tying cement and I'm going to stick a little drop right here on the tip on the end of the of my material here. And what that'll do is that'll help it, um, it, it it'll help it adhere better to the hook. And I'm tying this right on top of the hook shank. And then I'm going to make a couple wraps underneath. 
Now for tails, um, you can use marabou, um, zonker strips. Um, they, I, on smaller hooks, I like to actually use um, a uh, um, mink zonker strips because they look they work out pretty good. So now I'm going to put some yellow on here. I didn't even mention this, but we're going to be doing like a froggy dauber diver here. So I'm going to put this yellow in. Now that I'm going to add my flash. Sometimes I don't put any flash in it, it's just whatever suits my mood at the time. Okay, if I get to start. There we go. And I'll trim them up to all, all different lengths. I don't want them all being the same. I don't want it to be a paintbrush. So, with that on, now I'm going to use a grizzly hack on each side. And I'm going to be using olive. So, first thing I want to do is line up the tips. And I'm going to measure them. This is just an American hackle from Whiting. And I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the barbs. I don't want them all off. I don't want a bare shank. And I'll tie these in one at a time. Start off nice soft wraps and then I go a little harder. Then I'll put this one on the other side so that they're splayed out. And again, I'll start off with nice easy wraps and then I'll, I'll tighten them up as I go. And then I'll finish this off. Now, I know that the, this tie-up point here looks a bit bulky, but that's actually how I want it. Um, the reason they being is it's going to give the deer hair something to pack against. And all I'm going to do right now is just adjust these hackles to where I want them. And we'll glue this. And that is all there is for doing the tail a portion of our Dolber Diver. In the next video, I'll show you how to um, how to attach the deer hair, and then in our third, we'll give it a haircut, we'll put eyes on it, and tie off our weed guard. Thank you for watching.